Fluorescence microscopy of fixed cells is used for visualizing intracellular details. By labeling specific structures or molecules, it is possible to investigate details that an unlabeled cell does not reveal. There are several ways of applying fluorescence to a cell. When you stain the cells or label them with fluorescent antibodies, the concentration of fluorescent probes and incubation times vary depending on the cell type and probe that you use. Follow supplier recommendations and optimize your staining protocol to keep the concentration of fluorescent probes as low as possible to reduce staining artifacts. Eppendorf cell imaging slides are available in different formats. Their tissue culture treated surface supports attachment of adherent cells. Most cells can be grown directly on the glass. After removing the chamber, the slides can be mounted with a cover slip for microscopic analysis. Add a drop of mounting medium on each well. Place the cover slip onto the drops. Be careful to avoid the formation of air bubbles. Make sure that the cover slip is placed precisely on the slide so that the cells are not beyond the working distance of your microscope objective. Variable thickness of the mounting medium may mean that the cells are out of focus. Cells grown on the Eppendorf cell imaging cover glass can be mounted by using a standard microscope slide. Carefully remove the chamber from the thin cover glass and place it on the microscope slide. Again, avoid the formation of air bubbles. The thickness of the mounting medium is not critical because the cells grow directly on the cover glass. Eppendorf cell imaging slides and cover glasses, revealing the beauty of your fluorescent cells.